Hello traders, FS Pepcolette here. Today is Monday, November 27th, and I'm going to be analyzing gold versus the dollar starting on the monthly, working my way down to that one hour time frame. So on gold versus the dollar, I still think this is a wave three, I think this is a wave four, and I believe we're in a wave five. I think this is a one, two, three of wave five, and I think it is going to go up, take out all these highs, and potentially go up for quite a while. My target is actually someplace all the way up around the 23 on the dollar area. So taking it down to the weekly time frame, on the weekly time frame, I believe this is very clearly a uptrend, one, two, three, four, five. I think it's actually like a wave one. I think this is a, here's an A, B, C for the wave two. I believe we're in a wave three, and I think this wave three has a lot of upside potential to finish off the trend. Basically, like what I was showing you on the monthly time frame, I think we're in a wave three of wave five on the monthly time frame. So taking it down to the daily time frame, on the daily time frame, I think this is very clearly the end of a Kretzen right here, the end of a wave two. Then this right here, I think is a one of three. I think this is an ABC, a two of three. I think we're currently in a wave three of three and a wave three is supposed to be the biggest, strongest trend of a wave of a trend. So a wave three of three should be a pretty strong move to the upside. And I think we have a long ways to go to finish off this uptrend. So I am for sure gonna continue to look for longs, especially on sort of time frames. Taking it down to the four hour time frame, I believe this is the end of a Kretzen back here, the two of three. I think this is all just subdivisions of an uptrend. Nice pullback entries all along the way. As you can see, we had a couple nice long entries last week, a nice one before that. I would definitely not be going long now, but if I saw a pullback entry, if I saw three ways down, on especially on the sort of time frames, then I would for sure take that as a long for the continuation of the uptrend. So let's take it right down to the one hour time frame. On the one hour time frame, I would like to see it go down more before I'm ready to go long. I would hope that this would be an A, B, and then maybe go down like that for a wave C, make a three wave counter trend move, something like this, one, two, three waves down, impulsive up for an entry to go long. So if I see three waves down, if I see impulsive up, especially if it's at a Fibonacci retracement of this last push up, then that's exactly what I would be looking for for my next long entry. As you can remember, I believe we're in a wave three of wave five on the much much longer time frames my target is all the way up to about the twenty three hundred dollar area and maybe even higher so i am very bullish and i am definitely primarily looking for long entries at the end of any pullbacks that i see especially on these sort of time frames so don't forget to join my free discord channel the link for that is on the screen and in the description thanks and happy trading